Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I thought I'd introduce you to an older Topaz uh, plug-in filter, and it is called Topaz Restyle. You can still get this today. It's an awesome uh, filter for, like, color grading your images. Taking a normal photograph and turning it into maybe something more artistic-looking, a little more special you know, depending on what type of a mood you're in. Um, this particular image started out looking like this. Now, I've done work on it in the past where I've added a texture to the background, and then I turned that texture into more of a painterly look, and I took it off the flower. Uh, and I like this image just the way it looks. But then, uh, after running it into Topaz Restyle and a couple other Topaz plugins, I came up with this. So I thought what we would do... We'd start with this image again, and we'll go into Restyle, and we'll probably come up with a totally different look, and I'll show you everything that I do to get it to the finished product. So let's get started. Okay, I've prepared Photoshop so we can work on this image. So what I did was I duplicated this background layer and drug it up to uh, the top of this layer stack right here. And the other thing I want to do is let's then let's duplicate again, Command-J or Control-J in a PC, just so we can work non-destructively. All right, so now what we're going to do is come up to Filter, Topaz Labs category, and come down to, where is it, Topaz Restyle. And we'll launch Topaz Restyle. This is a really awesome filter. I'm not going to go in-depth on this filter today, but I just want to show you what you can do with it. The first thing I want to do is come down to the lower right-hand corner here of the interface and click Reset. And this way we can reset it back to the default position. Again, this is not an in-depth tutorial on Topaz Restyle, but I just wanted to show you how cool this piece of software is and what you can do to really add some nice change and life to your images, okay? So on this side of the interface, we have adjustments and things like this over here, and, and we'll get into this stuff over here, but first let's come to the left side and see here where we have collections, and we have all these different collections, and look at all these different styles, architecture, landscape, moody, you can save your own presets, portrait, seascape. I mean, there's tons of stuff in here that you can do. Now, you'll notice we have really cool names of all these uh, different looks. Like, here's one called Orange Stained Eve. Now, if I hover over it, you'll see the, uh, a preview of what that uh, look is going to look like there. Okay, so you can get some really nice looks here. Now, you can also come up here, and this is what I like to do is right here. See this little icon here? If you click it now, I'm in the night category. So let's go into the um, let's go into the moody category here, and let's click on this little icon right here. And watch what happens. You get a bunch of different uh, previews to choose from. Now there's many in here. So let's scroll through some of these. And as you can see, look at all the different looks we can get to our image here kind of opens up a lot of possibilities. Now, there are a ton in here. Let's go back up to the top. Now, say, for instance, you start looking through these and you say, you know what, I like rum purple. And don't you love the names they give these? And see the little camera icon, the little star? If you click on the star, you can add it to your favorites. And every time you come into Topaz Restyle, if you click this little icon right here with the star, it'll show you all your favorite, um, all your favorite uh, restyle looks, okay? So if I click that, you'll see here's some of my favorite looks in here. And they may not necessarily work in this image, but th these were uh, looks that I liked. To go back to the Moody, just click on Moody here again, and we'll go back in. So if I like uh, Rum Purple, now we don't ha just have to save it as a favorite. We can come here and click this little camera icon right here and click that, and it'll put it in this folder right here. So it'll save it. So you can keep going through. And just take your time. Like, I like this guy right here, Bridesmaid White and Purple. So I'm going to click the little camera icon there. And just keep going down through till you find something you like. And I'm looking and looking and looking. Isn't that cool to look at all the different looks? Now, they're, all, they're not all going to work, but you might find one that you really like. Like, this one is nice, Patina Stain. So let me give that camera icon... A click to save that one. Let's keep coming through here. And this is just in the moody category, by the way. Now, we can come. I kind of like this one here, Peppermint Gray. 
That's nice. Peach Schnapps. Great name. Great drink. And let's keep coming down through. And let us see here. Choices, choices. So many choices. I like cream and plum. Great name for that one. Now I can come up to collections here. Click this again. And let's go into nature. And that's where I got the uh, look for the image you first saw on my screen when you started to view the tutorial. And let's go down through here. I do like this one, Blue Skies and Cherry Blossoms. This one's kind of nice, Santa Fe Horses. I'm not going to go too crazy here because you can get lost in here and it's a lot of fun just to go through and look at all the different looks. Afternoon Snack, I do like that one. Okay, so that's enough for now. So let's come up here to the little camera icon folder. Give that a click, and there's the ones that I kind of liked. So now we can come through here and narrow it down. Peach Schnapps, I do like it. Mm, rum Purple, I like that a lot. And mm, Patina Stain is awful nice. Let's go with Rum Purple. So let's click that. And now we've added Rum Purple. So we can come over here, and we can do all kinds of things to this now and alter it. Like, see here where it says hue, saturation, luminance, and up here you have opacity. You have blend modes right here, so you can hover through and see what a blend mode would look like on it. So you got to play with all this stuff. And again, as I always tell you, experimentation is the key. You never know what you're going to get until you play around. Like, I do really like that a lot. Ooh, I do like it multiply, so I'm going to click that on. Now we have the opacity slider, so I can pull the opacity back and blend in some of the original image with it if I wanted to. And I might. I might just blend that a little bit. Now we can come to the hues. Now you have you have four different uh, types here. You have a primary color, a secondary, a third, fourth, and fifth. So let's go to saturation and let's click the primary color here. And you can see these sliders have the color of the, of the primary, secondary, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay. So, so we can pull that color up that saturation up on that particular color if we want to. And, and it might help if I turn this opacity up here so you can actually see what's really happening here. Okay, so you see that color? See it changing right in there? Okay, so we can alter it. We can play with these. And a lot of times I won't. I'll just take it just the way it is. And if you want to set this back, just double click. Actually, let me try that again. Nope, you got to double click the name primary. And that's usually how it works with Topaz. You double click the name and it goes back. And okay, so, and then you have luminance as well. So if I wanted to brighten that primary color up, I can pull up the luminance. You see that? And we can brighten that up a bit. Bring it up. And I just might brighten that up a little bit. And of course, we can go to the secondary color and let's pull that up. Okay, and you can see where that color is interacting. And, and you got to watch this because if you go too crazy here, you can really destroy the image. So you got to be careful. Let me double click secondary. I kind of like it right there. Now I'm going to uh, come back up to opacity and just I'm just going to pull that back just a little bit because I kind of like that right in there. Okay. And of course, down here under basic, we have temperature so we can alter the temperature. So we can, you know make it cooler or warmer, whichever we like. I might make it slightly cooler. And of course we have a tint. We can take it more to the magenta side or more to the green side, whatever we like. Double click tint and send it back. And then we can pour our saturation back, which I kind of like that. I think maybe, maybe right around in there looks good. Then we have black level. We can open up the shadow areas if we wanted to, or darken them, depending what kind of a look and mood you're in. I might just open that up a little bit, open those shadows up just a wee tiny bit. Then, of course, we have midtones. That would be the overall midtone brightness. Darken it, lighten it, double-click to get it back, and then we can adjust the white level. 
give it a little more cheery look. And I think I want a little more cheery look to this image. Okay, and then we have detail. We have structure, so we can pull up the structure details. you got to be careful here because you can overdo it. Or you can pull it back and soften up the image as well. So I'm just going to double-click structure because I like it. And we have sharpness. And we have layer masks. So we can mask things out. I'll be honest with you. I don't really do layer masking inside of Restyle because it's, it's a little tricky. It's different. Uh, Topaz have come a long way on their layer styling, layer masking technologies, I should say. And so I'd rather use Photoshop's layer masking. Okay, so I'm not going to get into that. But if I like that look and I'm satisfied with it, all I do is come down here and click OK. And that'll bring us right back into Photoshop. And there we are. So here in Photoshop, what I might do is add a layer mask to this layer right here. And just come down here and click on the little layer mask icon. And I'm going to get myself a brush. It's B for brush in Photoshop. And my opacity right now is at 20%. You can change opacities by uh, just typing in like number 4 for 40%, number 7 for 70%. I'm going to do 20% and... I want to make sure my brush is the right size and the right um, have the right amount of softening on the edges. So I'm going to keep it pretty soft on the edges here. And what if I wanted to add some of the original color back in here? So what I might do is just start to paint over this. Make sure you're painting. And I'm painting in white. I'm using white on a white layer mask. Not a good idea, Dave. So you want to... Uh, X is a shortcut key to change it from white to black. So I'll change it to black. And now I'm just going to paint a little bit of that color in here. Just wherever I want it. Now I might take that down to 10% and just add a little bit down here. Not as much color down here. Maybe a little bit on this leaf right here and here. And I think that's good. So if you shift click the layer mask, you can see the before and, before and after there. So... Okay, so there's before and after. All right, so I like that. I think that's looking really nice. Um, and what else do I want to do here? What if I wanted to add a little bit of light up in this section here? Remember on my couple videos back, I showed you how to do dodging and burning. So I'm going to come down here uh, to this layer mask icon and give it a click and click on curves. And I'm going to change this screen mode to... I'm not screen mode. I'm going to change the blend mode to to screen, and that'll lighten everything up. All right. And so now I'm going to invert this mask, and that's Command I or Control I on a PC, Command I on a Mac. That inverts it. And now with that 10%, I'm just going to add. Now I'm now I'm painting black on black. That's not going to work. So I'm going to hit the X key to change it to white. So now I'm going to add a little bit of light up here to the top. Maybe a little bit of light kissing through the little flower here. Just right up in here. Maybe a little bit on the back edge. I'm not going to mess with burning because I think it looks good. Just there like that. So let me do it before and after. Click this eyeball of the curves layer. Before and after. See, just throw a little bit of light up in there. And the next thing I'm going to do is bring this all together. And that's... Shift, Option, Command, E. And that throws that, pulls this all together and puts it up in its own layer. And the next thing I want to do is launch Topaz Studio 2. So come up to Filter, down to Topaz Studio, and Topaz Studio 2. I just want to add a little bit of a, of a vignette to it. So we'll come up here to Add Filter, come down to Vignette, click on Vignette. And... Let's see here. Now we have our strength here. We can adjust our strength. We can move that vignette around to where we want it to sit at. We can adjust the size of it, of course. Pull it in a little bit. And the other thing I might want to do is click on color here. And usually when I do that, I like to take the opacity and pull the whole way back. And let's sample a color. If you come to this uh, color wheel here and click on the little eyedropper here, we could sample color. Maybe let me get like somewhat of a darker green color somewhere right in here and give that a click. And now let's pull our opacity back up. And now I'm just throwing a little bit of that green color in there. And then I can come here on this luminance slider here and just move it a little bit to the right and darken that up a little bit. Maybe somewhere around in there. Click on the canvas here 
and we can see the before and after. So just a little bit, little bit of vignetting in there. I think it looks really good. I'm just going to come up here, click accept up in the upper left hand corner, and we're right back into Photoshop. So here is with a vignette, without the vignette, I should say, and here is with a vignette. And I think the vignette helps it somewhat. Okay, so there it is. So we went from, I'm going to option click the background copy layer, and here's the before. And here's the after. So we've taken it into a whole new direction, and I like it a lot. And here was my other, uh, the other one I did previous to the tutorial, this guy right here. So let me option click it. And that was the other look I had. So there's, there's one look. Here's another look. And here's the original look. So the original, the first look I came up with took it into a whole new direction. And here's my new look right here. So I like them all, but I think I like this one the best of all. So that is Topaz Restyle. I hope you enjoyed that. I started looking at this image and I thought, you know what, I might like to darken these, um, pet, no, these leaves down a little bit here. So I'm gonna burn those. And so I'm going, going to get another adjustment layer let's do uh it, like i said it doesn't matter if you do curves or any of these really so let's let's do brightness it doesn't really matter i'm going to come up to the blend mode and change it to multiply and that darkens everything up and then i'm going to invert the layer mask that's command or control i and then i'm at 10 percent. so i'm just going to come in here and i'm painting with white paint just in this upper section right up in here I just want to darken that up a little bit just to keep your eye away from it keep it on the flower okay right there and maybe maybe in here a little bit just darken this up just just a little bit here and let's click this eyeball here here's the before and here's the after I just wanted to tone that down a little bit sometimes those little little changes make a lot of difference and there's one other thing see right in this section right in here there's a little bit of a flaw in the flower here. I'm going to get a blank layer, which is right here. Give that a click and get your healing tool, which on uh, the shortcut is J. And make sure you have sample all layers checked and just come over that little blemish and just paint over it and voila, it is gone. So there it is. Well, there's Topaz Restyle. You can have a lot of fun with this uh, Plug in. It's really awesome. And I believe it's also a standalone product as well. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed of every time I put out a new training tutorial. Well, I thank you all very much for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one right here 